Hi everyone, it's Mr. Zarzak. Welcome to another edition of Physics on the Ground. In this video, we're going to complete the projectile lab. Hey, wait a minute, Zarzak. We've got data to collect first. No ball in the cup just yet. That's better. Alright, let's get started. Okay, friends, so here's your basic setup. Alright, we've got our ramp. Top of the ramp is on the left side, bottom of the ramp is on the right. I'll give you some different perspectives a little bit later on, but there is a string and a mass hanging off the edge of the table. That's allowed me to position the meter stick down there on the floor. Again, I'll show you that later. The height of the ramp has been fixed. I'll give you a close up on that so you can make a measurement as well. So I measure to the top of the ramp here, and this is the location where the ball will be released to roll down the, the ramp for all of the trials, okay? That's the basics. Okay, so this is a close-up of the top of the ramp. So you can see that the ball sits in the ramp like this. So it's up here to where I'm measuring. Okay, so this is for our first set of data. You can see that the top of the metal part of the ramp is what I'm using as my reference point. Okay, so you know which trial we're on. Okay, so since you'll need the length of the ramp, what I've done is I've taken a two meter long meter stick and set it into the ramp itself. So we can just use that to measure the length of the ramp. I've got it fixed up here. This is the very top of the ramp. All right, so we're gonna start our measurement. So I'm just gonna slide my camera along the table here. So we go all the way down to the end of the ramp here so you guys can see to make your measurement. And I think I'll take, there we go. And then there's the edge of the ramp itself. So go ahead and take your measurement. Okay, so we're gonna do three trials, timing the ball as it rolls down the ramp. So the ball is being positioned at the top of the ramp. I'll count down, I'll go three, two, one, and then release. Uh, and then you'll need to do the timing uh, on your end. So here you go, this is trial one in three, two, one, release. Okay, here comes trial number two. In three, two, one, release. And this is trial three in three, two, one, release. Okay, so we got a front end view of the plumb bob hanging off the edge of the table. There's the end of the ramp. And then I've got a meter stick positioned here, starting down at the ground. And I'll get eye level with the table so that you can record the necessary measurements. So go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now it's actually time to let the ball roll down the ramp. You see at the end here, on this black post I have mounted, that's a camera stand so that we can look down towards this meter stick that I've got taped on the floor. And then this is just a little a number three fishing weight that I've got tied to a string. So I've got a perfectly vertical line coming from the edge of the table. That's just so that I can line up the edge of the meter stick right at the edge of the table. Okay, so for each of these we're gonna do a trial and normal speed video and then we're going to do a slow motion right after so that you can record the landing location of the ball for each of the three heights. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've got the, the camera positioned over the edge of the table. That string is what's called a plumb bob, so I've got a perfectly vertical line straight down to that meter stick so I know that the meter stick is in line with the table. All right, so this is for our first set of data, so I'm going to release the ball and you'll need to make observations as to where it lands. Okay, so I'm going to let it go. You can hear it coming on the ramp and coming off the edge of the table now. back up at the top of the ramp you can see I've adjusted the height of the ramp for where the ball is going to be released from so you know which trials we're talking about now all right we're going to do time trials for our next ramp height here okay so here's the ball just like last time I'm going to count down three two one and then release you'll need to record the time for the ball to go from the top of the ramp to the bottom of the ramp so here we go releasing in three two one go So there's trial one. Here comes 
trial number two in three, two, one, go. That was trial number two. Here comes trial number three. In three, two, one, go. Just like before, we're gonna do one at regular speed and then one in slow motion. So we're gonna release the ball from the top of the ramp. Here we go. Hey guys, we're back at the top of the ramp. I've adjusted the height one more time so you can see where that's at. Let's get our time data. I have three more time trials. Ball is now positioned at the top of the ramp. You know the drill, gonna go three, two, one, and then say release. Okay, record the time for the ball as it moves from the top to the bottom of the ramp. Here we go. Three, two, one, release. All right, there's trial one. Here comes trial number two in three, two, one, release. All right, two trials down. All right, last one. Trial three. Three, two, one, release. All right. Okay, final trial. One video at normal speed followed by one slow-mo. Here comes down the ramp. 